Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. Now in this episode, I am going to discuss the concept of printing things at compile time. In the talk that I gave with Ben Dean at C++ Now this year, which is 2017, on ConstX for all the things, Ben and I mentioned this uh, const expert trace proposal that has been proposed to the committee, and I don't know the current status of it, but it is P0596, and you can see the text of it here. It gives const expert trace and const expert assert. And as far as I know, there is no current implementation of this, but the idea is that with this const expert statement, you can ask the compiler to print something at compile time. So SAR Raz, and I'm sorry if I am mispronouncing your name, sent me a link to his GitHub repository for static print, which adds a patch to GCC 7.1 to give you a similar kind of functionality. And he also posted this to Reddit, which had some great feedback uh, and was a really well uh, upvoted post on Reddit. So I thought I'd do a quick cover of the concept. And this is really not something that I tend to do. I don't focus on hypothetical things that may be coming into the standard. I like to focus on things that are already there. But this is a lot of fun, and this can really help us potentially really uh, reason about what our code is doing when we are generating code samples. So you might see me end up using static print in later episodes because, well, I have a patched version of GCC that has it available for me here now. So in the most simple sense, it allows you to print something at compile time, such as this. So the compiler has printed hello world for us here. And keep in mind, I am using a custom build of GCC here with his patch applied. And if you want to print more than one thing, then you can do something like this and uh, the comma separated thing, it prints a list of things. So that's really straightforward. And that's basically all there is to it here. Now it gives us a few interesting possibilities. I often like to do things like and now to demonstrate what the compiler has done you know this really is not a terribly complicated example i like to return from main what the value is and then we can see in the assembly output here that i have got 42 back from main so instead using our static print we can do this but it requires a constant expression. That's okay. We can make it a constant expression, and we can see that 42 is returned. And indeed, almost anything that I'm going to be returning from main to try to get the results back for easy visualization and compile explorer is gonna be something that could be a constant expression. But this gets twice as interesting when we are talking about non-integral values. Now we're seeing a truncation because main is, well, it has to truncate it to an integer. But if we were to get our static printout, we can actually see the value. And uh, I mean, this is brilliant. But it gets even a little bit better from there. It can do interesting things like printing type information out. So if we want to know the decal type of the result of this call, then we can see that we are getting a float. And if we wanted to make this into a template, then we can see that now the return type is double. Or perhaps if we wanted to see how our template type deduction is working for us, we can see that the result of this expression is a double because a floating point value defaults to double in C++. And if we wanted to make it a long double, we can now see that the return type is a long double. So it can get even more interesting by uh, printing even more advanced types of things. And I'm going to see if I can get it to print the type of a function, which I believe we can do. So let's see if we uh, say include string again, because string is a nice, easy, non-trivial thing to work with for these kinds of examples. And let's see.
There we go. So by printing the decal type of a pointer to this member function, we can see that it is something that returns size type and takes a basic string and is a const no accept member function. So this here you go. This is a general overview of what the static print functionality can do. I really hope that we get something like it coming soon to aid in const expert debugging. Um, although I do have some minor concerns about what this could do to our build processes if we accidentally leave these things in. Are they going to be build messages that end up in our build logs or uh, greatly increase the times of builds or something, but for the type of demonstrating that I like to do, this is awesome. Hopefully we can put it to use. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.